At a point, you, could, you were able to do almost anything you wanted. I mean, you throw in, you throw out, you give it to James, you know, Sully could run it. What, what was, how did that, the offensive line the key, or what was the key? Offensive line did an awesome job, and, and, and on the perimeter, our guys did a nice job of, of being able to, to, you know, catch kind of some of the shorter, quicker adjustments to, to what they were doing in the front, and, and get positive yards. And, and you know, SC has a, has a tendency to, to, to load up to stop the run, and they challenge us to throw the ball, and, and we did a nice job of, of Keep them off balance, you know, some just some nine yard gains here and there, ten yard gain here and there. Uh, Vasi Tune had a couple big ones, uh, Drew Davis, uh, Jeff Mayo, just all, all those little chunks that you know that made them kind of adjust what they were doing and then we even tried to, to, to come back and, and kind of attack something else. So just, just being balanced and, and trying to, to spread the field and our guys did a great job. Game plan very much at all during the game or you just stayed with it the whole I mean was there anything that surprised you at all? It changed it much? Um I thought they blitzed a little bit more. Uh, we thought they would, or they did. They would, yeah. um, uh, and maybe a little bit differently than they did. But but uh, and we changed a couple things at halftime and in, in the middle of the third quarter. But but uh, you know again, just our guys just did such a great job of, of executing, ran through some tackles here and there. Um, and you know when the when the when the play was there to be made, they made it. Well, Soli, uh, Jeremiah said he was at 85 percent running the ball. <laughs> what would he be like at 100? I don't know, but we'll, we'll, take, we'll certainly take 85 percent. Yeah. All right, congratulations. Thank you very much. I mean, going into the half, we knew we had to do a real session, but we didn't let the uh, pedal off, our, uh, foot off the pedal. We knew they could come back at the time. We played at the end, we finished. That's, that's one of our monitors, so we finished, and that's what we did. Put the game in perspective. What is the significance of this for you guys? Oh, well, it's big right now. We're undefeated in the league uh, play. We beat two of the toughest teams, in this, or supposedly two of the toughest teams in the league. Uh, we have what, five games left, four games left. It's setting up our season to look real nice. But we got to focus on next week. The way you guys mixed it up in the secondary, putting James in the corner, what? He's, Davis said you guys had that set up early in the week, but you kept it on the down low. With you back there, how do you feel out there, and how do you think that worked out? I feel, I mean, I, I was playing Rover. I wasn't playing for safety, so, I mean, a couple of times I, I had to get adjusted to Rover instead of for safety. But, I mean, coach said we're going to get the best players on the field, so. Well, this what I'm feeling is very proud in USC of a group of young men that practice hard every day. We are, we are, hang together, work hard, and just do it week in and week out. And we practice hard Monday through Wednesday. Keep telling everybody that. And these kids know how to play when it's game time. And so I'm, what I'm really feeling is a lot of pride in uh, you know when you do something for a living. And uh, it comes out kind of like the way you would hope it, it would come out, like tonight. Uh, a lot of pride for my guys and very happy for all of us and for our team. Coach, what was the key to preventing them from getting really any big explosion plays? Well, we always try to stop the run. And... Uh, I don't know if there was any one real key. You know what? We gave up. We really didn't give up any explosion plays, and we preached that. We said that if we could win first down, that would go a long way into winning third down. I think we were four for fourteen. They were four for fourteen on third down, if I remember correctly. And uh, we did a nice job of controlling the pass and stopping the run. They got probably about sixty yards on the last drive that shouldn't count, but it does because I we didn't care. I mean, I don't mean. I don't mean yeah, the game was care. decided. Yeah, I just we just gotta make sure that the ball stayed in front of us. And we tried, you know. I mean, uh, it was always funny walking down to halftime. I, I, yeah, I hear people say, "Put Alioti, put some pressure on him." <laughs> I want, I wanted to say, I wanted to say, we're trying. <laughs> we're not getting there. They're pretty good, but you know, just the second half, uh, we were able to get a little bit more pressure and. Um, was it, was it even more blitzes or was it? Like no, it was more of the same. We just felt like we wanted to put our four best players on the field, and we felt like our four best players on the field were Ward, at this point, Ward, Boyette. Javis Lewis and Thomas Jackson. So that's what we did. So somebody had to play corner. So we flipped a coin before the week started. And Javis 
Davis got the short straw, so we had to play corner. Because that's a tough job to do. You know, we did that with Bird against Oklahoma for his first start a while back, and he did an outstanding job. Um, you know, the credit, I'm the guy you guys talk to when we win. I'm the guy you guys talk to when we lose. I get way too much credit. Probably way too much blame, too. <laughs> but I get way too much credit. The credit goes to my our players, our players, and my coaching staff. That's where the credit goes. That's where the credit goes. And I'm, I'm more than happy to, to give that to everybody because they deserve it. But our players, <laughs> I can't say what I really want to say, play their off. Hey, is that a true four quarters? The coin? Did you guys really do that? No, we didn't. Uh, so <laughs> big, figuratively. <laughs> hey, Nick, on the, it seemed like the first half, their receivers, I mean, that was a headache trying to stop them. You had a big cushion, right? Would it jump a change? On, what changed on that? They had, they had such a big cushion, it seemed like they could get a first down and just flip well, it you anytime know, they wanted. You know, I, I you know, you got a kid playing corner for the first time in his life against an SC receiver, Damon Williams, right. pretty good. And you know, I, I it, it, you know, it frustrates you a little bit when they throw the ball in front and the flat and stuff. But you know what? I I don't I don't want to sound cocky or brash. That stuff never usually beat you. And oftentimes, offensive coordinators get bored. They don't they don't keep doing it. I do it every snap until we stop.